Microsoft Sway is a web-based design tool that allows users to create digital newsletters, documents, and presentations. Sway can be used in the classroom by both students and teachers to create and share new information and learning. To help you learn more about this tool, I invite you to Sway with me. Starting out with S, Sway is a stylish way to share projects, lessons, news, and learning. You can create a Sway from an existing document, such as an outline in Word or a PDF on your computer. You can use one of the existing templates in Sway. You can start by searching from a topic and let Sway make some suggestions for you or you can create a brand new Sway from scratch. Once you've started a Sway, it's easy to bring in images, title your Sway, and add to it. Sway makes it easy to import pictures, so you can either search on the Creative Commons to make sure that your images are copyright compliant, bring them in from your own device, or using the cloud, bring images in from your OneDrive or online from Flickr or bring in videos from YouTube. You can also add backgrounds to each element or card in your Sway. Let's go on to the W. Sway is a web-based tool. It's part of the Office 365 suite, but unlike other apps that you might have to download on your computer, Sway is 100% web-based, so all you need to access it is a browser and an internet connection. The menus in Sway are a little bit different than you might be used to in other Office products, but once you get used to the navigation, it's relatively easy to use. Let's go on to A. Sway is accessibility friendly. When you're designing your Sway, you can go in and use the accessibility checker, and if you need assistance, you can use the accessibility viewer. Microsoft also provides a tip sheet for creating the most accessible sways possible. They suggest different fonts to use, they suggest different colors to use, and they allow users to add alternative text to their images. Sway is compatible with screen readers, and it's also uh, easy to navigate just using your keyboard, so you don't have to be able to use a mouse to use Sway. Moving on to the why, Sway is yours. The tool lets users demonstrate their knowledge on a particular subject creatively and with seemingly endless options to add visuals, videos, text, and so forth. With video, learners can, dem can sh do complete demonstrations interviews and virtual tours, bringing in images, you can show pictures, charts, graphs, artwork, and so forth. And using a voiceover narrator, Sway can be used as a tool for either in-person presentations or virtual presentations that stand alone online. To share your Sway, you simply create a link and each Sway has a unique URL to be shared online. Sway is free it's ad-free, and it's privacy, privacy Shield compliant. However, users will want to be aware that Microsoft does sell user data to third parties, which is to improve the user experience with some of their partners, but also uh, can be used to sell advertising for other areas of the Microsoft suite. Overall, Sway is a really fun way to do some different presentations for the classroom, whether you're a teacher or a student, and I would recommend it to you. Thanks.